Hello everyone, uh, welcome to another live stream. Um, I was just thinking about it today. Uh, I have been trying to stream on Mondays for the last uh, for the last while, and I think this is my fifth one in a row. So Mondays 9:30 Irish time is when the streams are. Um, so hey to everyone in the chat. I saw that there was a few people on before we started. Just dying to see the post bags that I have today. And uh, yeah, I've got uh, nowhere near as many as the last time, but uh, we, we have some. Plenty to keep us going. Um, hey, Carol, how are you? I'm good, thank you. Um, are you are you in America, Carol? Did you had Americans had the day off today, President's Day. I work for an American company, and it was a nice quiet day in the office. So, um, yeah, uh, yeah. I with these post bags as well. Hey, Perani. Um, I I never really know what's gonna be in them. Like when I open it, I'll remember that I ordered it or whatever. It's never that bad. <laughs> Um, um, Gary on gaming. Irish time is GMT. Not technically true. It's uh, it's sometimes GMT. It's GMT at the moment. It is not GMT um, <laughs> during the summer. I think it's IST during the summer. Um, yeah, which is kind of weird because like Irish people would always say that they're in GMT. But like one of my live streams, I said like, "Oh, Paris time! It's uh, it starts at like our, our GMT. It starts at nine thirty, and Paris time is is ten thirty. And someone was like, "But Paris time is GMT plus two. Um, yes, but not for long, Gary. Not for long. Uh, yeah. So I don't know if this is going to be. I suppose this is a better camera to show it under. I don't know if this is going to be an electronics thing or whether I bought some other random stuff off uh, AliExpress, but uh, let's get into it and find out. Let me pull you in a bit closer and we can uh, read what the packages say and stuff. Okay, so this one is a switch and its declared value is one f one dollar fifty two. That's actually quite big, or quite expensive, <laughs> for uh, the type of things I get off um, AliExpress. So, let's see. I need to remember to throw the stuff on the ground. Oh, it is actually a switch. Um, yeah, I think I had these in the last post bag as well. I don't know why if this is so far away from me. I think I had these during the last post bag as well, so they're um, a switch for um, a guitar pedal. Yeah, I think I went through these the last time, so there isn't a huge amount of point uh, going through it again. I'll uh, I'll grab the link for um, for that after uh, after the video is done. Um, okay, off to a unexciting start. Let's move on to this big one here. I need to zoom us out a bit. Um, hey, Zandis and Lazarus. Actually, I didn't uh, didn't see you. Oh, sorry, not Lazarus. Lazarev. Uh, I'm reading the chat comments on my little OBS preview display. I probably don't need to do that. <laughs> a huge package for a single switch. Yeah, it was uh, Zandis. Um, I suppose they're kind of. They might have a lot going on in them or something, so they need to be protected or whatever. This is an even bigger package, so let's find out what's in this. Probably one single switch as well. Okay. Oh, what did it say on it? It said gamepad. Ooh, and its value is 54 cent. Uh, hey, Dennis. I'm, uh, I'm very bad at French, but, uh, uh, I you're welcome. Uh, appreciate the compliment. Um, so yeah, this actually goes well with something we got in the last uh, post bag. Um, so in the last post bag, I got that uh, Raspberry Pi uh, Nintendo case. I'll actually grab it down now in two seconds. Um, so I thought a uh, NES USB gamepad would be uh, a nice addition for that case. So right off the bat, um, 
Let me zoom you in a small bit more. Uh, nobody is going to mistake this for uh, a real Nintendo pad. It's been a long time since I held one. Definitely didn't feel like this. <laughs> this feels super light and pretty cheap. Um, yeah, I'm sure it's just for the aesthetics anyways, really. Um, <laughs> uh, yeah, so uh, I probably, if when I do set it up, I'll probably use an Xbox 360, um, Xbox 360 controllers. I have like, you know, one of those wireless adapters. Um, so that would probably be the main ones I use anyways. But uh, let me just grab the uh, Pi case. So, yeah, this is the box of the Pi case that we got in the last stream. So, I think this is uh, way more impressive than the than the Nintendo controller. So, like, this, like, the plastic on this feels way more like a, an original NES than, like, this is real, just cheap plastic with a, a sticker on it to make it look like a NES controller or whatever. So, they don't even look that similar to each other but uh yeah yeah for the price i'm sure i can't go too far wrong i'll uh just pull up a link to it now Let's see i'll properly put away that uh nintendo case in a second let me just grab a link to it if this takes too long to be grabbing links for stuff i'll uh just um I'll grab them off camera. So let's see. No, or I'll, I'll just get the get the um. I will just get the links after and put them in the description. So yep, there is. Uh, so apparently I paid three dollars and nineteen cents. Uh, so it's it's fairly expensive. Like. I don't know, that's not very expensive for something delivered from China, but relatively speaking, that's kind of expensive. So, it's fairly well reviewed, so even though it doesn't feel like a NES controller, it uh, seems uh, seems pretty nice. Uh, Carl, I'll get to a soldering kit at some stage. I don't have any at the moment, so I'm waiting for some to come true. Um, and Gary, I wonder will it color fade the same? Yeah, so I just need to leave it out in the sun for... Uh, for a while and hope that uh hope that it uh, fades yellow like the other ones so yeah not too bad anyways okay next we have integrated circuits of a value of 153 oh, that's from the pie box and this is ooh Carol, this is a soldering kit. Um, this isn't one of the duplicate ones, though. So I, the reason I'm buying the kits is to give to my brother, who's learning how to solder. So I think this one's for a clock or something. As I see a seven-segment display, it's actually quite a nice seven-segment display. It's 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 a lot bigger than the one I'm using for the alarm clock build, which has got paper stuck to it. So yeah, there's a huge difference there um so yeah interesting to see how that would go um i guess it goes up there the clock part of it and uh, all the components go up here so yeah this would be a nice kit to learn how to <laughs> learn how to solder with because like there's no smd components it's all uh, all true hole it's all pretty big and uh yeah, so it's even pretty nicely labeled here. Let me just bring it in a bit. Um, so it's pretty nicely labeled what everything is and where it goes. And uh, yeah, so that's it's pretty nice. Seems, seems like pretty decent quality as well. So let me just bring up how much that was or where I got it. Alarm, I guess. Nope, not alarm. Maybe it's clock. I'm just searching through my orders on AliExpress. Um, to find out what it was. Yeah, so... Like, this was... Uh, 
this is one dollar and fifty three cents, which I think is pretty good for what it is. Like you know, it's definitely a nice uh, practice uh, soldering kit. Um, uh, Zandis, did I order so much that I can't remember what I got? It's not that I can't remember what I got. I did order quite a lot of stuff uh, just before Christmas, but it is, it's a long time ago as well, you know, so like I ordered this on the 11th of December and it arrived since I did my last post bag. So it, that's more the difficulty of it. It's not like if I was getting stuff within two weeks, like sometimes you do, I, I have a much better memory of how much it cost or what its name was or anything like that. But um, yeah, <laughs> when it's from two months ago, it's kind of it's kind of hard to hard to remember. Um, yeah, so that's a nice kit for learning how to solder. Maybe when I get the duplicate of it, uh, we can do a solder stream. Um, okay, so. Oh, there's the instructions for it too. Although it looks pretty straightforward to just follow the the markings on the um, markings on the thing. Okay, so this one is a uh, a three P uh, two five four, and its value is ten dollars. I doubt it, but we'll see. Ah, yes. So these are header blocks for DuPont cables. <laughs> I don't know. No, most of the times I remember. It's funny now that I'm saying most of the times I remember. I forget why I bought these. Um, there was some reason, I'm sure. Um, I can't remember. I think it was just that, like, you can pop, like, the DuPont cables, like, these guys. Like, even... Hey, Unexpected Maker, um, who, if you haven't checked out his uh, channel, is from Australia. So it's actually tomorrow for him. So thanks for joining us in the past. Um, yeah, so you can actually kind of pop out the, the cables from these... Um, uh, I'll probably cut myself when I try to do it on stream here, but um, you just kind of pull back this plastic here and then it should slide out. And if you did that with uh, three DuPont cables or whatever that are connected to each other, you can uh, then just slide them into uh, you can just slide them into one of these connections if you connect it from the right side. Oh, sorry, I'm doing that behind my uh, screen. Hey, make me. So I, I don't know if you saw me pop off the ones from the other one, but yeah, you just basically pry it open. Sure, I'll do one more on this side. It's a bit unfocused. Let me just... Hey, Crocoduck. Um, let me just focus this up a tiny bit. Um, there we go. So you can just uh, pry something in here and pop up the plastic tab. Then you pull it off and then you can put different header blocks on it. So these are three in a row, which would be handy for some things like, uh, like say the motor mount or the motor um, board that we were looking at with the Node MCU has a lot of connections for like live ground and then signal for different things so this would be pretty useful for that and then yeah so you can just slide in the and slide in your dupont cables and there you go you have a new dupont block that's exactly the size that you want it to be so yeah uh, pretty handy for that i might have actually ordered these ones off ebay now so uh i mightn't be able to grab a link to uh Grab a link to um, it. Yeah, they didn't order these off AliExpress. I'll uh, I'll grab the link um, from eBay afterwards. But um, yeah, so kind of a handy thing to have. Okay, what is next? Um, 
Yeah, Carol, actually, if um, if you haven't checked out Unexpected Maker's channel... Oh, he does, yeah. <laughs> uh, I, was, I just saw the... I love Solder Saturdays, and I was like, I've seen Solder Saturdays, but it was like... Uh, uh, can you get male ends too, or just female? So it, it depends on what... Um, so all of them are actually the same, but it depends on what your other side, if it's male or female. So let me just grab a male to female cable. So um, if you look here, I can pop off the tab without stabbing myself. So this is for the female um, cable. So that would slot into um, this as well, the same way, if I put it in the right way. If I'm not mistaken, I could be mistaken. Maybe I'm wrong, is it? No, I don't think so. So yeah, that's in. It just doesn't seem as tight as before, but now I can slide in the other one into that. So yeah, doesn't seem as uh, good of a connection now, but um, yeah. So the, as far as I know, it's it's just to do with what um what's crimped to the wire underneath. So you can use the same one for for male or or female. Yeah, if I take a look at the the two that I took off, like one's from a male, one's from a female, and they look the exact same. So, yeah, pretty nice. Uh, yeah, you can also get like the the metal tabs as well, so you can crimp your own ones of them. Um, that I did get before. There was like fifty cent for. Yeah, actually, I bought female and male ones. It was like fifty cent each for a hundred of them. Um, so. Yeah, it's it's pretty nice, but like, you know, it's it's easy to uh, just use um, use the pre-made ones to save yourself crimping them unless you need a specific size or whatever. So uh, on this packet, which was one I had to actually sign for, I have uh, five of something, and I know what this is because I was waiting for them. It is five Wemos D1 Mini clones. Um, Yep, so if you are at all familiar with my channel, and I suppose if you're watching me here live, uh, you probably are. Um, yeah, these are my favorite, uh, these are my favorite Arduino boards. Um, yeah, they're just so cheap, they're less than $3 delivered, and uh, you get like a selection of headers with them, and even, you know, I mainly use the male ones, so I have a big collection of these, uh, of these female ones, which can be kind of useful for even, you know, making like right end connections. I have so many of these that I don't mind, uh, don't mind breaking this, but you know, you could bend this over or whatever and make a right end connection for breadboards or whatever, like, you know, slot that in and now you've got something that sticks out from the side. So, um, yeah. Can't really go too far wrong. I was actually just running out of them, so uh, I said I'd stock up again. Uh, I probably this might be my last batch of these though, because now I have a good few of them, and uh, I think going forward I'll probably be focusing on the ESP32 a little bit more. Now these are still very useful uh, ESP8266s, but um, yeah, just I've been enjoying the ESP32. I think. I think the software for it is coming together now and it has some really cool features built in on the board like just even stuff like you know I've been my next video which will probably be out tomorrow I would say is going to be about using both cores of the ESP32 so like you can use one core to fetch data from from uh, from Wi-Fi or wherever and then you can use the other core to drive a display so that's really nice, but then there's even stuff like integrated touch sensor. In, I think there's a thermometer in it, and then the, there's built-in Bluetooth, which I haven't played with at all. So yeah, I think the ESP32 will be uh, my board of choice this year. Um, okay, so this one, I have no idea what it is. Description of content is blank. It was one euro, and uh, it's 
quite heavy. There's a lot of whatever there is in it. Um, so let's see how we get on. Ooh, more uh, more solder kits. Um, yeah. So again, I bought these uh, for my brother. Such a deal. Flash. No, the flash size on them, Joe to me, are um, they. That's four megs on that. Let me let me bring up the um, Wemos web page so I can just show you what I'm talking about. But yeah, there, there's four um, four megs on a Wemos uh, flash. Like I, yeah, I I love these. Let me just share my screen. I don't know if I shared my screen of the last one. Um, yeah, so 278, okay, so this one now has delivery to Ireland. Uh, I've actually noticed since Christmas that uh, a lot of places have started to, um, um, started to, uh, use it, uh, or sorry, started to charge shipping to Ireland, but, you know, if I just searched for Wemos, uh, D1 Mini on AliExpress, like, I'll find ones that don't have shipping to Ireland, so see, this one here is 269 delivered, so, you know, th these are all the same, I would say, I haven't actually gotten a bad one, um, yet. Uh, so Jeff said he found my video on the ESP-01, but prefer the Wemos D1 Mini now. Yeah, so, I, like, as I mentioned in that video, I, I prefer these, just because the price difference is pretty insignificant um it's, it's like maybe a dollar it's less than a dollar i think and uh yeah it's just so handy to be able to plug in you know power d directly to the micro usb port you know it has the 3.3 .3 volt regulator it has everything you need for programming it's just it's it's just a bit easier now the usb01 has its uses it probably uses a lot less power if you use the right le regulator and also maybe you don't need as many pins and stuff so it's it's a bit smaller um but yeah by default this would be the board i i'd use um yeah and uh, as jotem jotembe jotembe points out it's uh, perfect for ota which is actually something i've never done so i'm definitely going to uh do that at some stage so let me just uh <laughs> Zandis, we're not quitting the EU. I'm in. I'm in Ireland. We're uh, still very much part of the EU and rely on it heavily uh, for everything. Um, we even use euros. Um, so uh, yeah, be interesting what happens when uh, Britain leave the EU because like the shop, the online shop I'd use the most, like for just regular stuff, not uh, electronics, would be. Um, uh, I the one I'd use the most for regular stuff would be like Amazon.co.uk. So if uh, if we're out of the e or they're out of the EU, I don't know how that works out anymore. Maybe I can start buying it from Amazon.f or or whatever. So uh, yeah, I'd say this solder kit is um um I'd say this solder kit is some noise level detector I, i'm not fully sure i can try search for it now in a second but uh yeah so it has a it has a microphone anyways and has uh four leds uh it has a transistor of some description uh so yeah i'd say it is some noise level detection again so uh that one again is nice and straightforward i'll put it back in its bag afterwards so this one is definitely i'd say a bit more of a soldering challenge um does anybody know what it is from uh from this um yeah so it has it has room for two shift registers and uh then i don't know where everything else connects to but um oh no they're here at the sides or the start on the outside so um uh so what this is is it's a uh, you can see a huge bag of uh, leds here it's a it's a shield to build a 
a shield to build an LED, um, it's not a matrix, LED cube that fits on top of an Uno or whatever. So yeah, that should be pretty fun. So it, it has room for two shift registers. Oh no, I did get them. I was about to complain I didn't get any shift registers. Even though I have like a hundred shift registers and uh, I uh, <laughs> I haven't used any yet. Um, so let me pull them up. Uh, so again, I, I bought both of these from AliExpress. So let me pull them up, solder kit. And yeah, I'll leave links as I said in in the description um, after the video goes live. It's just it would be very messy for me to be posting them in at the moment, and I don't think AliExpress links work out um, work out too well. So um, I, th I thought we had some problems with them in the chat before. So uh, yeah, let me just find them because my search isn't bringing up anything. Uh, that is, ah, yes, here they are. So there's the four by four LED matrix cube. So uh, this was two seventy seven, which you know isn't the most expensive. Um, so yeah, it has all the LEDs that you need. So four by four is sixteen by four is. Whatever it is, 64, is it? So 64 LEDs that come with it. So this this would be a solder challenge now, uh, for sure. They don't have a picture of a completed one, do they? So, yeah. That'd, that'd be fun. Um, so that'd definitely be more of an advanced one. And that's definitely one we won't be doing on a stream, because uh, that, that would probably take a while. Um, and the first thing you want to do is test that all your LEDs work, so, you know. That w would not be fun, that part. Um, but, uh, yep, and then the other one was this... Uh, what is it called? Electronics. So this one is super cheap. Uh, so 43 cent delivered. So this is perfect for learning how to solder on. Um, because, you know, you can buy a couple of these and if you break one, who cares? Like um, So electronic funny kits, voice control, LED, melody, light, yeah, <laughs> so um, even after that name, I'm not fully sure what uh, what it does. So after success of the package, produce five LEDs will be within rhythm of music or other sounds. I, yeah, <laughs> I don't think that's going to be that great. But uh, yeah, so like you can pick up cheap solder kits on uh, AliExpress. And yeah, they're the perfect way to learn how to solder, I would say. Um. So Michael was talking about the OTA um, Andreas Spices is App Store, which I think is called IOTStory.com or something. Um, yeah, that's that's pretty pretty cool. Um, yeah, I, I'll I'll do the OTA stuff at some stage. Um, I have a couple of ideas, but I thought it'd be kind of cool to um, to try uh, get the to try get the um, the binary files or whatever from a github release um so like you know if say if i have a project like the arduino the arduino cryptocurrency counter um that if i uh you know if i released a new version of that if I, if i released it on github uh on startup the thing would check to see is there a new version and ask the user do they want to update um i thought that would be a nice way of doing it but uh yeah, we'll see. Uh, I'm sorry. Hey, uh, Jose. I think that probably should be pronounced differently. Jose, -u? Jose, -u? Um, sorry. Um, <laughs> yeah, so Jack Sat is saying because of the devaluation of the pound, it's cheaper to buy stuff. Yeah, it is. Uh, even. Uh, I'm never sure what this is. UK plug. So what this is is uh, so I, I mentioned before that I, I won a MacBook on uh, Instructables before Christmas for my LED lights, and um, because it's from Instructables who are American, it came with a it came with an American plug. So uh, this is just a. Uh, I don't know if I have it. So this is just a, an Apple plug. It's just it slots into the power bank. 
yeah, looks it's okay. I can't imagine they can do too much wrong with it. It just needs to get those things into that. So hopefully, uh, that was you get plug. If that's what it's called, that was that was two euro and fifteen cent. What a rip off. I know, uh, like, yeah, it would have cost me way, well, let me share my screen, I suppose. Uh, it would have cost me way more to get it on, uh, off anyone here, so, yeah. Why not? Um, okay, and Jacksat, yeah, I got distracted there. Jacksat was saying about it's now cheaper to buy off the UK. Yeah, that actually is true. A lot of people, um, in Ireland actually buy cars from the UK at the moment, secondhand cars, because they're, uh, so much uh, cheaper. So we're down to our last two packages. Um, you'll be happy to know. <laughs> um, but uh, yeah, so like, because there is so much less packages or whatever, um, if we wanted to, uh, if people had any questions or whatever, like I can probably stay on for maybe another uh, 30 minutes or so. Like even if you've kind of questions about a project you're working on, uh, we can maybe take a look at it. Um, there's also something, a couple of things I'd, I like to talk about, and seeing as I'm in control of everything, I, uh, I get to do what I want. <laughs> um, I'm only kidding, kind of. Uh, so this is kind of folded over, so it's hard to read, but it says five piece sop uh, at tiny. So in the last in the last live stream, I got some uh, a tinies, but they were true hole. So these ones are um, these ones are SMD ones. So if you follow me on Twitter, um, you'll uh, know that I got a a cheap toaster oven um, that I'm hoping to use for SMD stuff uh, pretty soon. Let me just zoom you in there. And Eric is looking forward to the ESP32 projects. I am also looking forward to them. Uh, let me just zoom you in. Um, I have seen other people do... Yeah, let me get to that uh, question, actually, Carl, in, um, just when I'm finished with the live stream. Um, uh, okay, yeah, so this is really tiny. So these squares on uh, on my cutting mat are one centimeter by one centimeter. I don't know how to convert that to inches. Uh, less than half an inch. Um, so yeah, they're they're really small. And, you know, uh, tinies were pretty small to begin with. So if you want to make some really small project, uh, this is probably a good way, good way to go. Um, yeah. So yeah, I'm looking forward to using that because I have never done any uh, any board uh, designs before, so I'm looking forward to uh, using that at some stage and make something. I'll probably start with something relatively simple, like a temperature logger or something. I mightn't even make it. Uh, I mightn't even make it with an ESP8266. Who knows? Um, yeah. Okay, so this one is connectors, and it was $2. Uh, uh, Eric, have I identified... So I bought a, I bought a toaster oven, um, like uh, just a cheap toaster oven from, uh, from a guy here. Oh, yeah. Uh, second, sort of second hand. So, like, it wasn't new from a shop, but also he had never used it. And like I paid twenty euro for it. Um, I'll show you a picture actually, just uh, just after this. So um, yeah, that's uh, that's what I'm going with. I'm going to do it first without. I'm going to try it first without um, without replacing any of the innards of it. But um, if that's not working out, I probably will. So unexpected maker who's in the chat there as well. He. Um, uh, please try the at tiny now if you can. No way it survived this. What's the this me pawing at it or just the uh, <laughs> just the travel from uh, China? Um, but unexpected maker, um, 
he has a, at least one video on using just a regular uh, cheap oven to do some uh, to do some SMD. And also, if you're familiar with him, uh, Sean Hodgins. Oh yeah, so the, the software. Yeah, I'm I'm just gonna use the the plain plain old uh, plain old eyeball method to begin with. And uh, if that's not working out, I'll. Uh, I'll replace it with like an Arduino running a PID controller or something. Um, but yeah, uh, but yeah. So Unexpected Maker uses one without the without software, and so does Sean Hodgins, is another YouTuber who uh, has good results without it. So I'm just gonna try it out, and if it doesn't work out, it doesn't work out. So these are just standard. Um, is it 2.4 millimeter connectors? Um, uh, these are standard 2.4 millimeter um, connectors and uh, yeah so they have little screw terminals so you know these are handy for both sides of a project actually so like if you want to uh, connect you know an LED strip to uh, 12 volts well, this isn't 12 volts this is 19 volts from my soldering iron but uh, you know you can uh, connect into those two and that will have now the 12 volts across that so it's handy for just prototyping and just an easy way of connecting like 12 volt power supplies um, uh, without uh, without having to do a whole lot so yeah pretty handy let me just pull them up um, and what was the other thing oh yeah the a tinies, I oh, found them. Uh, so let me pull the A tinies. Um, so yeah, there were three eighty two for five of them, which is pretty cheap. Um, but actually, like I've seen that A tinies are as cheap, if not cheaper, from like local places like Farnell or somewhere. So if you're making an order with someone somewhere like that, anyways, uh, definitely check out how much they are, because yeah, it was uh, is as cheap, if not cheaper, to just buy it off Farnell. Um, yeah, I'm still waiting for a couple of other things like this, uh, which hasn't come yet, which I thought would be pretty handy. It's a it's a thing for programming, like. Uh, I think for programming uh, stuff like the Atinies, so you can see it there, you, you drop the Atiny into the top of it, so you can program it without soldering it. So, you know, if you could pre-program it before you drop it into your board or whatever. Um, yep, so what was the other thing then? And then those connectors, so... I think those connectors were pretty cheap too. Um, yeah, so... $2.13 delivered for a pack of five or ten I guess so five female five male um yeah so uh yeah so that will do that um yeah so uh Zandas seems to like the um like that programming device I think yeah uh, yeah I'll throw a link to that in the um I'll draw a link to that in the uh, in the description. Uh, is there six ISP in the bottom? There is. Well, it's it's got four on each side, so it's a, It's not the six pin ISP. I was actually thinking of making one of them. Uh, let me. Uh... <laughs> Uh, let me actually pull that up because yeah, we're now in the free talk mode. We're uh, we're at the end of um, we're at the end of uh, of the post bag. So uh, thanks everyone for joining that. But like, uh, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna continue on the. Oh, there's my solder oven in my PUBG chat. Um, yeah, so somebody was mentioning about you might need to add extra. Um, extra uh, heating elements to um, to the soldering oven to make it work with um, w work with solder free uh, or lead f solder free <laughs> uh, lead free solder um, um, yeah th this one actually has four in it, it has two on the top and two on the bottom so I'm hoping it 
gets hot enough and yeah I'm, I'm using lower temperature solder paste as uh, as unexpected maker described so I have some 183 stuff and I have I think some 143 stuff on the way uh, yeah so it doesn't have the it doesn't have the the ISP on it though um, but yeah so this is yeah 109 it's called a one piece sock eight so yeah <laughs> i don't know you'll find it I'll, uh... uh okay so cool um yeah the, i'll show you my first ever uh board to design in um in uh KiteCAD. if i can open up the project now and i can how do i So if you're not familiar with KiCad, I am not the person who is qualified to talk about it. But uh, KiCad is a open source open source software for uh, creating uh, PCBs. Um, so let's see, PCB footprint Gerber, Gerber viewer. Is that what I want to see? I don't. <laughs> I don't see anything in my Gerber viewer. Maybe I don't have. That's really tiny KiCad. Uh, yeah, I think that is. I completely forget how to use this software now, but um. So yeah, this was my first board to design, and uh, it is actually for an ISP programmer for um programmer for uh, for an A-Tiny so um, it's kind of hard to see I I'll go to the 3D preview now in a second but these these pins in the middle are for ISP pins and then these pins on the outside are the same size as uh, an A-Tiny um, so what you do is you'd put a, a, a little SOP socket or whatever in there um, uh, put a little sap socket in there uh, um, and then yeah these this is just a 1k uh, current limiting resistor and an LED on attached to pin 5 I thought yeah it's attached to pin 5 um, so it lets you uh, test out uh okay let's see when i'm finding the 3d preview um so carl what what was your question carl because it's hard to scroll back up through chats um make me tv coming back carl where did i get the kit from answer that uh I, I, yeah, I'm not sure what your question is, Carol, because I, I thought I answered all the ones that, uh, <laughs> I thought I answered all the ones that, um, that you asked, um, yeah, let me see, is it the footprint viewer? No, there's definitely a way I can, uh, view, uh, 3D viewer, this must be it, yeah, so, it's not a whole lot to look at. But, uh, yeah, it's uh, something. I, I thought I could see it populated, but, um, yeah, I'm calling it the the tap. Uh, so, for some reason, I have the text the wrong way around. Um, I'll fix that at some stage. Um, I must have done that on purpose, though, for some reason. Uh, yeah, so the tiny, a tiny programmer. Um, yeah, so it's, it's a really straightforward board. Um, yeah, so... It, it will just about fit as far as I know so you'd put standard um, standard jumper pins in the center but sorry female ones um, to go into the ISP socket of like a regular a tiny um, oh yes um, yeah and then like you put in a regular socket so yeah sorry Carol's uh, Carl's question was about the Gmail notifier. Um, I've seen other people do projects on it. I probably 
won't do it. I, I thought actually before I sent you some links of someone who did a Gmail notifier. If I didn't, let me know and I'll try to dig them out again. Um, yeah, I, I probably wouldn't be a project I'll be doing anytime soon, though, to be honest. Um, yeah, so is it Zandis? Um, yeah, I, I don't know if I'm allowed let links in it. I don't know if that's a setting or whatever, but um, I guess most of the time you, it should be fine to allow links. But uh, yeah, I think Gary is able to approve them anyways. Um, or maybe not, I don't know. <laughs> uh, hey, Wolf, how's it going? Um, yeah, so uh, Zandis, if you want a copy of this file, uh, happy to send it on. I haven't tested out that this works yet, though. Um, I was thinking... Uh, I, I think you could solder that adapter to it. That was another thing I was thinking about. I don't know if I've made it wide enough. I'm, I might need to check. Do I need to... So what it currently is for is... Um, is for a regular Atiny. A regular true hole Atiny. Um, so when I get that adapter... Um, when I get that adapter, I'll uh, check. Is it the same size as an Atiny? So if, if anyone's confused what I... Is, C pins or ISCP. Uh, I don't know. Focus. <laughs> Who am I? Uh, let me share my screen or my second camera. Uh, it's these. Um, these pins on the top of an Arduino board. Um, so yeah, like this. The the tap that I'm talking about should slot into this, and then the a tiny will slot into the tap. So, uh, yeah. Fame star vlogs. My next subscriber will receive five subscribers. Uh, <laughs> put user in timeout. I'm I'm not a big fan of sub for sub. So, uh, sorry, fame star vlogs. Not on not on my chat. Um, I guess, I doubt, um, I doubt, uh, what's this thing called, Restream.io will do, uh, will do good with, um, will do well with deleted chats, but, um, yeah, so timeout is for 300 seconds, apparently. That was an option I've never used before. Um, <laughs> Tassel Drazzle, okay, that's, this is how it's gonna be. Uh, yeah, I don't know, Gary's on the ball, I think you can just, uh, I think you can just delete or ban them, people, whoever they are, I won't feel bad about it anyways, um, yeah, so that was, uh, I I'm probably gonna send them off to get done at some stage, I even think that, like, uh, I, I don't know if you've ever seen a guy, um, on YouTube, uh, what is his name? I'm sorry that I forgot his name, because I know he is subscribed to me. Harry Karuna? Harry... Where are you, Harry? Harry, Harry Wiguna, sorry. Um, uh, yeah, oh, let me get rid of my desk. Uh, Harry Wiguna. Um, you should definitely check out his videos. Actually, they're they're really cool. But his big giant LED cube. He um, uh, <laughs> he he got boards printed from um, one of the Chinese manufacturers. I think it's JLPCB or whatever they're called. And um, he like he could order it so that he got one board made up uh, as but like he multiplied it across the like they do 10 centimeters by 10 centimeters um they do 10 centimeter by 10 centimeter boards like you can get 10 of them for two dollars delivered or something and like he like he you can multiply the board out as many times as it'll fit into that one 10 centimeter by 10 centimeter board so like he got loads of them made up and i, I reckon you could make like a hundred of those taps, no problem whatsoever, probably even closer to a thousand, uh, with that one two dollar order, so, mm -hmm. <laughs> uh, yeah, so I definitely recommend checking out Harry's channel, I think, I think they're, they're good stuff, alright, 
And then the other thing that I wanted to show, which I thought was pretty cool, uh, and if anybody is in Ireland, um, they are welcome to see me there, is uh, this uh, Hackaday.io have a conference in Dublin. Let me just scroll in a bit. Uh, on the 7th of April and what it is sorry it's not a conference it's an unconference and uh, yeah it's it's a kind of an interesting um, an interesting concept it's um, everybody in attendance needs to have a seven minute uh, seven minute talk on something that they're interested in or working on um, and you can be called up at any time <laughs> to talk about it basically you'll only find out uh when you're going on uh, where is it uh you only find out when you're going on when the previous one uh the previous one <laughs> shows up or goes on so like if it's make me on so welcome make me to the stage and next will be brian Locke or whatever so um yeah <laughs> fun um yeah, it, it's funny, like, even though I'm, like, you know, I've been streaming for nearly an hour or 50 minutes where I'm just talking randomly or whatever, even the thoughts of, like, doing this is, it's kind of nerve-wracking a little bit because, yeah, you don't really know what's gonna, or how people are gonna engage. Like, all, all you guys, are, you, you know, you already know the stuff that I'm probably gonna be talking about or whatever and you're interested in it. But it's just more like, will whoever else is at this be interested in what I have to say or whatever? But uh, yeah, it should be fun. I've never done anything like it anyway, so uh, it's like a conference, but you can never relax. That's a very good point, Patty, because uh, I, I would really be happy if I was one of the first people on. Um, because, uh, I don't know, I, I mentioned before about the guest video that I was one of the last people on for uh, EV blogs guest videos and every evening I was like a nervous wreck from 8 o'clock till the video launched at 9 o'clock so um, yeah okay cool so we have a few minutes uh, uh, thanks a lot Logan uh, I d ah Jordy P Porty well he was probably true to his word anyways because he has at least five accounts or, um, yeah yeah so um yeah, I'm sorry if I missed some things there. There was a lot of uh, there was a lot of um, there was a lot of chat in the or sorry while when I was talking about the this hackaday stuff, there was a lot of chat going on and I missed uh, missed a lot of stuff. Yeah, um, so I see Tinkering Corner says Harry is my friend. Uh, say hi to Harry for me and I uh, love his videos. Although I do comment on them as much as I can or whatever. Um, uh, so I see Jack Sat is saying about Kevin Dara. Yeah, I, I really like Kevin Dara's stuff. Actually, when I got my toaster oven, I watched an old video of his. He converted one um, to have a PID. I don't know if he actually has a PID controller. Um, uh, yeah. Um, hi, Logan. Um, <laughs> yeah, so... Um, yeah, I think he just used a regular kind of control or whatever, but, um, yeah, Carol, I'll, I'll, uh, I'll leave it in the comments because, you know, I'd have to take a search for it. So if you want to check back in the video or whatever, I'll, uh, I'll post it there. Um, yeah, and, like, he's done, he's done some cool stuff with the ESP8266 as well. Like, his, his current project that he's working on, the, like, is it the door notifier or... I think it's an anything notifier. Um, is really nice. He's this really shrunken down like project board that runs for ages uh, on like batteries. Uh, that you know, he I haven't fully. I ha I didn't watch the whole video, but he has some way of putting it to sleep that's pretty efficient, and it'll get kicked off by an external uh, event like the door opening or whatever. So uh, yep. Hey Stephen, how's it going? Um, yeah, so, well, actually, let me try grab the get gmail notifications on ESP8266. Oh, somebody has beaten me to it. Yeah, I, I 
it was probably going to be a while before I was going to be able to do it anyways, but uh, there is a video for you, um, Carl. It's even on an OLED screen. Do you know what one thing that's kind of weird about YouTube is that I have to watch ads on my own videos. <laughs> so, like, even when I was, uh, when you start a live stream, you need to preview the stream first. And uh, it made me watch an ad for a preview of my own live stream. I was like, what? This is ridiculous. Uh, yeah, it's the trig board. Yeah, thanks, Eric. Uh, so let me post that in the chat. Um, but I think that is it, Steve, or Carl. Um, I think that is what you are looking for. Um, yep. Uh, Okay, so any other questions for me? Well, we still got some time. Some oh no, somebody loads of people asked questions earlier and I can't remember them. Let me scroll back up through them. Uh, Unexpected Maker asked about um, what's the replacement for the ESP32 board. I haven't bought that many. Um, I I don't know the answer to that question, Carl. It's it's on an ESP8266, anyways. I'm not sure if it's using Arduino. Uh, I haven't bought that many. In fact, I've only bought two. Um, so I know some people recommended some the last day. Um, ESP32 board, I guess. ESP32 board. This is the one I have. Or no, it's actually this one. Um, but I think since that people were recommending other ones, that there's a, a mini. I get, yeah, I guess this one here is uh, nice and small. Um, like, that looks to be around the same size as the uh, Wemos D1 Mini. No, it has some weird things in terms of... Uh, like, this isn't breadboard friendly because of the way the pins are. You can see that there's two pins side by side. Um, so yeah, that's not breadboard friendly at all. Um, so it mightn't be the best for uh, prototyping. The uh, the ones that I have, they're pretty good, but they're not the most breadboard friendly either because there isn't a huge amount of space afterwards. Uh, like they fit in and you can connect things to them. Um, but yeah, there just isn't much space afterwards. I actually, um, I got, I, I won this as part of that prize from, uh, f from, um, uh, why can't I think of it, Instructables, and, like, it came as part of a starter kit or whatever, and, uh, it's, it's, it's the same as any cheap one, actually, like, boards do not fit into it well at all, um, so... I um I decided to buy I bought some white uh, I, I don't know where I put my uh, Arduino Nano that I had I was using I probably lost it um yeah, I'm not too sure yeah you're right actually um Eric uh Lowland 3D 32 light let's have a look at that Lowland uh, Roland 32 light. Thanks, Greg. Yeah, this actually looks like quite a nice board. Um, or, or, let me share. Um, yeah, looks looks quite good. Um, I must pick up a few of them when my AliExpress diet's over. Uh, although I've already broke it a few times. Um, cause how could I? So yeah, this is the same problem as any other cheap breadboard that it like it's really stiff to put in so like I'm fighting with this and it's just not going in and you can even see like you can see the problem when you zoom in on them let me just zoom you in here a little bit so I don't know if you can see it let me but see this row here you can see the metal part uh, that's getting in the way and you can see it on this one too and that's not the way it should be uh, yeah <laughs> uh, 
uh, thanks, Patty, for the two dollars super chat. Uh, is this gonna end up on one of those, uh, you know, when people make donations by mistakes? I don't know if you've ever, ever seen those videos where it's like this kid like makes a ten thousand dollar donation to some streamer. It's like, oh my god, I'm sorry, I only meant to do ten dollars or whatever. Uh, so, thanks. Um, yeah, so like if you compare that then to uh, one of my see-through breadboards that uh, I wax on about, you don't see the you don't see the uh, thing in the way here. Like they're all good, and that is completely reflected by how easy it is to uh, put it into the breadboard. Like that went in no problem whatsoever. Um, so I bought. The problem with these is that the clear breadboards, which I bought to, so I could identify them compared to my bad ones, uh, they don't show up well on camera. So like it's hard to see what leg or what row this uh, LED is connected to. So um, I bought some white ones of them because somebody actually asked me, are the white ones the same? And I didn't know because I didn't buy them. But now I have bought them. So whenever they come, I'll let you know. Uh, yeah, was there any other questions that I missed? Uh, just checking back through. Yeah, so I, Unexpected Maker, you're using the same one as me, um, I think. <laughs> yeah, so Greg, maybe yours will be done before, huh? or here before mine, so you can let me know how it, uh, how it goes for you. Um, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Unless uh, unless there's anything else, we'll uh, leave it there. We'll give you back some time. Uh, it was me who asked. <laughs> I thought I thought it was all right, but I, I just wasn't sure. Um, yeah. So if there isn't anything else, uh, I think the new video will be out tomorrow. It's about dual core ESP32. It's uh, meant to be a two minute tidbit but i'm over two minutes and i'm not finished it so it's going to be a two-ish minute tidbit the the minute thing will start with a two for sure i know it'll, it'll be less than two minutes 30 so it'll be fine uh it'll be actually my first two minute tidbit to do in quite a while so hopefully uh hopefully uh people like it um yeah and that's uh that's pretty much it so thanks a lot for joining me guys and uh we'll see you next time Next Monday, 9.30 GMT. <laughs> uh, okay, thanks a lot.